Hello, I'm Karen and I'm a Move It or Lose It instructor. I'm also an NHS physiotherapist and for most of my career I've specialised in working with older people in the area of rehabilitation and falls prevention. So I'd like to share some advice with you now that we're slowly easing out of lockdown and being given permission to go out and about a little bit further and particularly for those people who've been shielding in their own homes for the past few months. It's great news, isn't it, that we can go out and do a little bit more. But just a few things maybe to be aware of that might help you. So first of all, I would like to talk about the wearing of masks. So when I've been out and about wearing masks in shops or wearing PPE in the NHS, I've noticed that wearing a mask is affecting my peripheral vision a little bit. So your peripheral vision is what we're aware of around us without having to turn our heads to look at it. And we know that vision is one of the most important sensory systems involved in maintaining our balance. So as I'm standing here talking, I'm aware without looking down of my hands moving at about hip level. I'm also aware if I lift my legs forward in a sort of normal stride length that I might have when I'm outside, I can see the tips of my feet. Now, if I put a mask on, I'm only aware of my peripheral vision of my hands when they raise up to about chest level. And I can't see the ends of my feet at all when I'm walking at a normal stride length distance. So I suggest that if you're wearing a mask when you're out and you're going to have to negotiate a curve or a step or any uneven surfaces, that you do stop you glance down so you're able to judge that depth and distance and if there is anything to hold on to when you're stepping up a, a step, a rail um, or a handle then I suggest you use that rather than feeling with your feet. You can also always use your gel or do your hand washing after touching hard surfaces but it might be a little bit safer than just trying to feel your way around or fiddle with your mask which we're not supposed to do. Okay, So that's masks. Um, it's also important to have a really flexible, strong ankles for balance and two of the best exercises that we can do for that are heel raises and toe raises. So whether you use support at home or not to exercise um, in a safe, comfortable position with appropriate footwear, you raise your heels up and down for strengthening the calf and take your weight back on your heels and lifting your toes to strengthen the shin muscles. And those shin muscles have been proved to be really, really important in maintaining our balance and being able to adjust to changes in what we're walking on the different terrain. Talking about feet, it's really important to think about footwear as well, especially if you've been wearing slippers for quite a long time indoors or going around in fairly flat shoes. I would suggest that you avoid wearing backless shoes which is easy to step out of or sling backs where your heel can move. It's better to wear something with an enclosed toe and an enclosed heel and, and support around the instep or even better a full shoe with full instep support and a nice wide broad heel to increase the surface area that you're standing on. Really good exercises for changing our position and our balance as we're walking outdoors and walking round each other to maintain that social distance are stepping movements. So it's taking your legs forward and back, out to the side and out to the back. So with or without support, but actually transferring your weight onto your stepping leg as if you decide to take a step Oh, and then you've changed your mind, which is different from just standing still and pointing our feet, which we often do in classes as another routine. So it is a transfer of weight and you can do it slowly or you can pick up the speed a little bit more and take several side steps just to get used to that quickness of reaction and really, really helpful that react for that reactive balance that we need when we're out in different um, environments. So I really hope that's been helpful, give you something to think about and give you a bit more confidence when you're going out um, into your local area and further afield and um, enjoy a little bit more freedom. Stay safe and take care. Bye.